Hi everybody, welcome to the Bolt Hole Biker. My name's Stephen and I'm gonna make a short video for you today about how I keep my bike looking pristine over the winter months. I'm an all year biker, which means that my bike is inevitably confronted with all sorts of nasties like road salt, farmer's mud, wet leaves, that generally bikes don't like. But I've got a really simple cleaning regime that keeps my bike looking absolutely showroom pristine um, and rust free more importantly over the winter months so I thought I'd share that with you. So let's get started. These are my weapons of choice when it comes to cleaning my bike. I know there's loads and loads of different products out there and I'm sure they're all great. These just happen to be the ones that I use. At the start of the winter, I put ACF on my bike. Um, I give it a really, really good clean, you know, like a proper thorough clean, and then I spray it all over with ACF 50. And then that gets applied a couple of times throughout the winter, but not. I don't, I don't use that all the time. But I've got the peace of mind of knowing that it is protected from the word go. So that, that's, that's most important. Then after that, for the regular maintenance, just to sort of, you know, keep the general grime at bay. I love Muck Off. I think it's a brilliant product. Um, I just like that it, this sounds ridiculous, but it's really slippery. And it just makes me think that if it's, if it's that slippery on my fingers, you know, a drip of it goes for miles then it must be really slippery for the mud as well. So that, that's what I use for cleaning the bike. And I'll go on to WD-40 afterwards, but I use, I use that for my wheels, as you'll see later. Um, for my chain, which I, I, I treat the chain as a completely separate job. The rest of the bike gets cleaned, and then the wheels get cleaned with um, WD-40, which I'll show you. I just think it brings them up lovely, and it, gets all, it cuts through all of the... Um, fling off from any you know chain lube and anything like that so it's, it's, it's really great stuff for wheels i think um and i like the wd-40 chain cleaner and then the wd-40 lube but i'll show you that as we go on but my my regular sort of protectant if you like is just this muck off protectant which once you've washed the bike and dried it it kind of looks a bit dull clean but dull this stuff is fantastic i just give this a spray over it doesn't leave any sticky residue or anything and this and a, and a tiny wipe with a, a microfiber cloth just makes the bike shine it's absolutely fantastic as i will show you but i just thought i'd show you the products that i'm going to use before i use them okay i've just wet the bike so now i'm going to go out and give it a, a spray all over with the um, muck off These are my weapons of choice for washing the bike basically. The, the muck off is on, I just give it a simple wipe over with these and I use this brush just for getting into the, the sort of nooks and crannies. I do have another smaller brush, this one, which is stiffer bristles, but I find that I hardly ever use it to be honest with you. It's just, um, this does most of what I need. In fact, these do most of what I need. This just gets underneath the, um, the downpipes of the, the, the exhaust and what have you, where you can't really get in. This is the single most important piece of kit, in my opinion. This one's just a pet dryer, I think it says on it. Yeah, this one's a pet dryer, but it's exactly the same as a motorbike dryer, except for it costs half the price. I honestly don't see the difference. All this is, is basically a blower that has an element in it that, that blows hot air. 
The thing that kills motorbikes, the thing that creates rust, is moisture on your bike. Obviously, moisture, oxygen, all the rest of it, I get all that. But it's not the drips, although they will cause rust. The drips you can get rid of, the, the drips you can just wipe off with a, a, a microfiber cloth or a chamois leather or whatever. You, you can get rid of the drips, but the bike still holds moisture. As you'll see, when I start drying it, you, you can take, especially you can see it really on the downpipes of the, um, of the exhaust, where there's no drips on them, it looks dry, but you give it a blast with the hot air and you watch it change colour, it, it, the moisture just disappears. And there's loads of places on your motorbike that you just cannot get to with a cloth. Your bike might look dry, but it isn't. It's soaking wet inside. It, all the, the bits that you can't get to are moist. They might not have drips on them, but they're moist. And your radiator, wait and see when I give this a blast, when I give the radiator a blast with this, how much water is held in your radiator. If you buy one thing for your bike to keep it pristine in the winter, it's one of these. You need a motorbike dryer or a pet dryer. It does the same thing. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. If you're gonna use one of these, you're gonna need a pair of these because some of the noise that comes off when you, when you go over any little uh, nooks and crannies on your bike, the high pitched whistle that comes off it is deafening sometimes, so you definitely need some ear defenders. Two or three quid from Tool Station, well worth buying. Train cleaner.
Okay, that's the end of my short video on how I keep my bike clean and more importantly, protected from rust over the winter months. I hope it's been of some use and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when I do any more videos. I am the Bolt Hole Biker. Everybody needs a bolt hole and this is mine. Thanks for watching.